Loopers, it's Trisha, your 2011 Loop Rock Girl. And tonight I'm out here at the Bliss Practice at the Bridgeview Sports Dome. They're getting ready for their next game October 7th against the Green Bay Chill. Let's go see if we can talk to some of the girls and find out what it takes to be a Bliss Girl. What's up, everyone? Trish here, and I'm with Ange of the Chicago Bliss. How's it going, girl? Very good. How are you, babe? I'm doing well. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us about yourself. Um, I'm Ann Jangus. I played on the Chicago Bliss since 2009, and I played defensive end, and I like to kick ass. <laughs> if nice. I could say that. Nice. You can say that. That's fine. Okay, go. Um, what are your <laughs> predictions for the Green Bay chill game next week? Oh, as hard as it is coming off of a loss, I definitely predict that the Bliss are going to come back and come back hard and strong and put the Green Bay chill back where they belong in Green Bay with cheese on their head. <laughs> nice. Nice. How did you yourself get involved with the Bliss? Um, a friend of mine was telling me about the Chicago Bliss and he was just like, you have to go and try out. It's a bunch of like super badass girls. They're playing like legit football. Legit. <laughs> And so I saw um, I saw one of the games and I was like, damn, I could not believe like how hard they hit and just really how badass they were. So I was like, I was all about it, but I've never played a sport in my life. So for me, um, it was just, you know, it was a lot to the whole first season. You know, I was like there just basically trying to learn. So I never played a game the first season, but my second season I played all the games. So it was cool. Nice, nice. And what do you like to eat before a game? What do I like to eat? Well, since we our uniforms are very small, <laughs> I usually go on the McDonald's diet, which people laugh at me, but no, serious, this is true. Um, I eat three fruit and yogurt parfaits, one for breakfast, one for lunch, and then one for dinner, <laughs> truthfully. And that's then I awesome. drink Gatorade. I don't know, that's probably like the worst thing an athlete could say, but it keeps me full and I feel healthy and look skinny, so yay. <laughs> <laughs> now these practices are tough. Like, Tell us how tough they really are. Practices are so tough. I mean, honestly, for, for me, like I said, I never played a sport in my life unless you count like when I was six and I played t-ball other than that. Um, it's really tough. I mean, like you go to these practices and I mean, you really get the shit kicked out of you. I mean, covered in bruises. Um, it's two and a half to three hours of like hardcore hitting. And I mean, just it's it's just a lot offensively, defensively. I mean, you know, we play both sides of the ball, so I mean, just, there's, there's a lot that you have to know. It's it's definitely it's definitely hardcore. Definitely hardcore. Who's mm -hmm. your favorite pro athlete? <laughs> this is like, I'm I'm not even gonna be embarrassed about this. Like, I love Mike Tyson so much. <laughs> like, I'm ser so serious. Like, ever since I was little, and I played Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I mean, I've been in, like totally in love with him. All right, that's weird. <laughs> I, mean, I know it's weird, but I, whatever. He, you know what though? He likes to. In his, in his time, he was like the baddest ever, and he beat the crap out of people, and that's clearly what I like to do as when I play defensive end, so yeah. it worked out. Besides being a Bliss Girl, what do you like to do? Oh, um, so many things. I write children's books, and uh, it's called The Buggas. It's B-U-G-G-U-Z-Z.com. It's about <laughs> microscopic beings that live in your nose, the city of boogers, Los Nostralis, and they fight <laughs> off the stuff that make you sick. So yeah, I'm a published author, and um, I'm also an artist. Uh, I love to do art installations, and I don't know there's so much. But cool, well-rounded cool. female. Now flipping. Well-rounded. <laughs> <laughs> flipping to the romantic side, what do you look for in a guy? What do I look for in a guy? Um, I like guys that are confident and strong, and but not just strong like physically. Like I'm so over guys that are just like big and buff and like tan like I feel like I look at guys <laughs> like that I'm sorry guys that are big and buff and tan but uh, to me it's like kind of a turn off because I feel like you should get a life and like go do other things <laughs> instead of just being buff and tan you know but right. so I like guys that are just like a success turns me on because I feel like a guy that's passionate and you know if you're really passionate about something then you're going to be successful so I like successful guys it's hot awesome I need one of those as well <laughs> <laughs> I have one I'm good <laughs> That answers that question. Hey, Sorry, fellas. Anyways, good luck in your game next week. I'll Thank be there cheering you, you out. Love right. you. Love you, boo. Best. Well, there you have it. Make sure you check out the Lingerie football team and the Chicago Bliss girls as they take on Green Bay Chill October 7th at Toyota Park. See you there. <laughs>